Hey saddle hunters, thanks for tuning in to the Saddle Hunting channel here on YouTube. I'm Spencer and I am really excited to bring this product to you today. We're going to be talking about a one stick today. I have with me the Out on a Limb Big Bob. Now, there's two versions of the Bob, the Bob and the Big Bob. And if you followed Out on a Limb, you know the Bob stands for best of both. This is a one stick with a platform on the top that has the ability to go from a flat platform to an angled platform. So it's kind of considered the best of both worlds. Well, in today's video, we're going to talk all about this platform. We're going to go over its specs and its features and walk you through those on the tree. I'm going to give you guys my thoughts about it and we're going to decide whether or not this really is the best of both worlds. So stay tuned as we jump in and talk about the big Bob. All right, guys, so let's jump in here. There's going to be a lot of different segments to this video, and I know not everybody's going to be interested in every segment. So down below, you'll see that there are kind of chapters, and you can just click on the kind of the timeline of the video and navigate to the different sections you want to watch. And I say that because we're going to start off talking about specs. Some people are just kind of spec junkies, and other people don't care at all. So what makes up the big Bob. This is a really neat one stick. It has two different platforms, an upper platform and a lower platform. We're going to talk about those more when we talk about the features, but I, I say that to say that there's been a lot of questions revolving around the weight of this platform. How heavy is the thing? Well, I've got some answers for you. Bare weight of the Big Bob is four pounds and two ounces. You can see here I have it set up with the Ultimator Pack and Play and the Ultimator, because this is probably one of the most popular one sticking aiders out there. With this set up the way it is, and, and I've, I've switched over the rope to 3 16 it comes with 1 8. We'll talk about more that more in a second. But this setup, as you see it, is four pounds and 13 ounces. And if you were to go with like a three step Amsteel eater, I'm getting right at about four and a half pounds. With, with that setup. So it's a little bit heavier than the Eastern Woods Outdoor One Stick. I have an EWO, their 15 inch stick, the flat, the flat UP model. And this stick doesn't have the lower platform, but bare, it's like three pounds and nine ounces, kind of the way you see it here. If you add the lower platform, that adds about 14 ounces. So you come in right at about four pounds and seven ounces bare without aiders. And so um, it, they're, they're comparable. It just depends what configurations you want to run. If you, you don't care about the lower platform, this one can come in a little bit lighter. But if you add EWO's platform, this one comes in a little bit lighter. So it's, it's kind of give and take. This is a little bit longer stick than we've seen some other options. This stick is 16 inches, 16 and 3 eighths from, from top to bottom. And it's built on a one and a quarter inch tube. So the tube's a little bit thicker than every other stick out there. Now let's talk about the size of the platform. A lot of people have been curious about that. The upper platform here is 13 inches by basically eight inches from, from you know front to back. If you're measuring from basically the, the bracket, the end of the bracket here, you've got about six inches. So your usable space before you hit the tree is kind of like 13 by six. And the bottom is nine and five eighths wide and it's six inches total deep. And cut that in about half as your kind of usable space up front before you hit the post. But I really like that bottom platform. I think it's a super, super helpful feature. Uh, also related to the specs, this platform has the ability to angle. And we'll talk more about that in depth later in the video. But it can go from basically a 20 or a 25 degree angle up to a 20 or a 25 degree angle down. So that's a really, really nice feature of it. Let's talk a little bit about cost now. So this platform sells in a lot of different configurations. You can buy it without the camp cleat, without the rope, without the aiders. And so let me just kind of walk you through what I think are going to be some of the most common configurations for this stick. So if you were to buy this with the cam cleat and, and the bolts to attach the cam cleat, so the, the stick and the, just the cam cleat, 
it's going to come in at $254 before shipping and taxes and all that. If you add their 1 8 inch AM steel rope, it's going to be $279. And then if you have all of that with their three-step aider, you're going to be $318. Now, guys, I'll just point this out. Out on a limb, unlike some of these other companies, often run sales throughout the year. So you might be able to catch a 10 15% off sale. And it just so happens when this video goes live, they're going to be having a Memorial Day sale and you can get 15% off of those prices. So that's really, really nice guys. Uh, you can pick this stock up for a steal on one of their sales. So uh, make sure you check that out if you're in the market for a, uh, a one stick right now. All right. So those are, are kind of some of the just basic specs of the stick. I want to kind of do as best I can a tabletop review where we're going to look in depth at the various features of this stick before we kind of put it through the, uh, the motions and really test it out. All right, so I have the big bob on the table here. I'm just going to kind of talk you guys from end to end through its features and kind of design. So let's start here at the bottom with the platform. You'll notice that this bottom platform has a lot of nice texture to it. It's It's got texturing on the front edge as well as grooves running through the body of the platform. So that's really, really nice. I know some people have been curious about the welds. So you can see the welds on mine are, are very, very clean. Moving around to the back side here, we have the tree bracket out on a limb's quite famous for their tree brackets. They just grab very, very well, but they do have pretty fine teeth and you can notice there's some wear on them uh, just even after the usage I have on this stick, which obviously isn't a, a whole hunting season. So uh, just keep that in mind. I've never had one you know, flat out break, but they do show a little bit of wear. The other thing I'll point out is the aider bolts. So these bolts run from the front edge into kind of this, this Y portion right there where they're threaded and uh, these just screw out few turns and you can remove that bolt and it gives you the ability then to slide your aider right through that bolt and change out your aiders fast and easy and so that is a, a really nice feature obviously if you th strip the bolt or something I, I don't know you'd probably have to drill it out slightly larger and tap it so if you do do that uh, reach out to Matt before you do any DIY garage home uh, in repairs but moving on to kind of just the shaft of the stick, you'll notice that it's kind of fluted with this diamond design. It's one and a quarter inches wide, and you can kind of see there at the bottom, if I can get the angle right, there's the bottom of the cable. And it's just kind of wrapped together in, in electrical tape, it looks like. So that should give you kind of an idea of the body of the stick. Let me pull pull the rope out here and show you where kind of the, the bolts are attached. You can see the two access bolts are right in the through these two holes. So I'll show you how to remove those later in the video. Here's the bolt that holds on your rope. So that bolt sits underneath the cam cleat, runs through the stick and then attaches there in the back. I'm not quite sure what this is. It almost looks like a plastic that was heated up and molded around the stick, but that just prevents some chafing of the AM steel rope on each side of it. So that's a nice welcomed feature. I I really like that. That was that's well thought out and you can see there the AM steel just sits uh, inside on that bolt and you can see how it sits in relationship to the handle and I'll talk more about that later in the video as well. Um, moving up, you can see the top platform is primarily held on with this grade eight bolt that runs through here and it just pivots nice, nice and easy. Let me show you those welds close up. You can see there's kind of a little bracket built out with some supports and uh, that basically all rests on the adjustment knob. They have included Velcro here on that contact point and it's really thick Velcro. I haven't had any noise issues with this at all. Very large nylon washers, I'm assuming. The thing just is totally quiet when it moves. No squeaking, no nothing. Uh, so that's really, really nice. It seems to have gotten a little bit looser on me since I bought it. Not so loose now that it's flopping around, but you may have to give that bolt a, a tighten occasionally uh, over the life of the product, I would imagine. Let me show you the bolt here. I've been very impressed with this bolt. It has very coarse threading 
and it turns very quick, very easy, has a lot of adjustment in each direction. So that just works fantastic. And a few turns, and then you can change the angle of your platform. So really, really a cool feature and what makes this stick stand out from any other on the market. I've noticed that once I expose about two threads or so, it gets me back into the, the flat position. So uh, all that to be said, here's the top of the platform. You can see that once again, it has is kind of fluted, has texture. It has a slot here to put the rope in for you guys who like to use the rope to hold your platform up. That is a super, super welcomed feature. Uh, when you're comparing this stick to the Big Bob, the, the difference here is this, this portion out on an end, basically this, this square here. The Bob ends along this line here, and this extra couple inches that's added out here is what makes the big bob different than the bob and that adds a little bit of weight you know the original bob i think is three and a half pounds this one's four pounds two two ounces so uh, keep that in mind uh, the the big bob is significantly larger and uh, i personally like that so other than that you can see see the top of the stick right here and the handle you just kind of grab the handle and and pull it out and then uh, you can, to push it back in you just kind of Kind of work it back down and uh, sometimes it takes a couple pushes but generally it's pretty pretty easy so that's kind of an overview of the features of the big bob i replaced the 1 8 inch rope with 3 16 just because i like it better and it seems to release from the cam cleat a little bit easier and the weight of 3 16 throws around the tree a little bit better in my opinion. The other modification I've made when I bought this stick, the cam cleat was oriented in the other direction. And I've just found that for my climbing style, being right-handed and, and preferring to hang off on the, if I'm looking at the stick on the right side of the stick, I just like the cam cleat oriented that direction. So I, I swapped it. And I'm going to show you guys kind of that process from start to finish, sped up a little bit here in the next few minutes of the video in case there's anybody that is curious about that process. And once that's done, we'll, uh, we'll take it outside and show you all how these features work in the real world. In order to do this project, all you're going to need is a set of Allen wrenches and then a 3 three eighths inch socket. You'll see on the back of the stick here, there are holes drilled so that you can hold those bolts in place. That's what the socket's for. I had to play around quite a bit to get one that was narrow enough to fit down in there, but this works. So I'm just gonna stick this down in the back onto the nut and then unscrew it using my Allen key. Take this off and then I'll be able to access the bolt that the amp steel goes around and undo that and replace the am steel then put the whole thing back together with the cam cleat facing the other direction so here we go all right so cam cleats off I'll try to leave those as close to position as possible now going to be near impossible but you can see it's just another allen head on the front here a little bit bigger Let's see that's going to be the one and even the back's a little bit bigger so i've got to get an additional size here all right so the back is just seven sixteenths nut little brass washer should be able to back this out it's spinning like it's threaded I don't know if it's threaded for sure or not all right that one's out we're gonna take 3 8 going the other side Make sure it's behind the cable.
All right, that's all there is to it. Flip the cleat to the other direction and put on 3 16 amp steel. All right, guys, so now that I've got the stick on the tree, I just kind of want to talk through some of the features and some of the things I've noticed with this particular stick. Let me start off with the handle. When I took the stick apart and swapped the orientation of the cam cleat and, and put on the larger diameter rope, I noticed that you can either have the handle in front of the amp steel or behind the amp steel. What I mean by that is you can either have it closer to the back of the stick than the amp steel is, or you can have it closer to the front of the stick than, than the amp steel is. And I originally had it in front of the amp steel. The problem I noticed was with that would be that when I would pull it up, the bottom of it would sometimes jump around the nut that holds this bottom bolt for the cam cleat on, and then I would have a hard time pushing it back down the shaft of the stick. So I thought, okay, well, I'll move it more toward the back. So I put it behind the amp steel, which pretty much got rid of that problem. The only issue I found, though, is that when I put the stick on the tree, let's say I you know, put it on there pretty tight, and run my uh, rope around, notice the handle's still retracted, put it in, and then seat it. The am steel bites down on the handle and makes it hard to pull up. Now, it's not impossible, and I can get it up, but it's, it's difficult. Now, you'll notice the, that it moves up and down pretty easy when it's behind the rope, which I like. So I like having it in the back. But what that means is that the one thing I have to make sure of is that when I get to the tree, and I, I can set it, but before I seat it, I want to make sure that I pull my handle up all the way, then I can seat it and I don't have anything to worry about. So that's the first thing I would recommend that you kind of keep in mind as you're using this stick. All right, so let me show you how I would cam over this stick. Now, I would do this at hunting height. The first thing I'm gonna do is take the platform and I'm gonna tip it up. Now, since I have no you know, pressure on the stick, I'm gonna retract the aider because I don't need that anymore and I don't want it in my way. So I'm gonna fold the platform up a little bit. I'm gonna pull it further down the tree and then I'm just gonna grab the top and roll it over. And you can see it bites into the tree really, really hard. And I mean, it's just rock solid. Once I get up on the stick, I'll show you guys how much movement there is with this when you're trying to you know, push one way or another. But this is the most solid you know, one stick that I think you'll find on the market due to this camming feature. So now that I've showed you that, let me get up on the stick and I'll kind of talk you guys through the ability to angle the platform. All right, guys, I'm up here on the platform now, and I have it flat right now. So I'm primarily a sitter, so I kind of prefer these flat platforms for my hunting style. It's just I like to keep my feet right on them. Very easy to position when you're sitting down on a flat platform, and you kind of maximize your real estate, which is what I like about it. But I know a lot of guys are leaning and a lot of guys switch back and forth between leaning and sitting. So I wanted to show you how you can adjust this platform when you're you know, in the tree, if you wanted to change it. So it's really quite easy, especially if you're using kind of a, a rappel type device like this Madrox Safeguard that I have here. So if I wanted to change, of course you can always lean right here on the edge. And if I lean 15 minutes a hunt, that's probably about all the more I do. And I can certainly lean on the edge of any platform on the market for that amount of time. So don't discount that. You don't need your platform angled to lean. A matter of fact, I could probably count on one hand the number of hunts I've done over the years with the platform intentionally angled. So just keep that in mind. That being said, if you want to switch, all you gotta do is let some length out and get beside the platform and then operate the screw. So I'm gonna try my best to demonstrate this to you. This tree is kind of funky, it's leaning, so we'll see how this goes. But let me just let some length out here, get a little extra length. I would come down the tree and I would hang here near, near the platform. All I gotta do is tip it up, reach under there, grab my screw, turn it in two or three threads. I mean, it doesn't take much and then I would operate it like a camming action again and just pull it. You can see now it's got a pretty good angle to it. 
grab myself, pick up my length, get myself back up. I love that bottom platform for a number of reasons, but the stability that it provides in this situation just can't be beat. So now you can see I've got a platform that's angled and I could lean here a little bit more comfortably, natural angle to my legs with a lot more of my foot on the flat surface. So very easy guys, pretty quick movement. Doesn't take a ton of movement to accomplish that, especially if you are using the tree as a buffer between you and your anticipated deer movement. That's not a movement that I would worry a ton about making, especially if you're in a tree that's you know of any decent size. So that's how you can adjust it, very easy and it's it's just very solid underfoot so let me show you a little bit about positioning around this and how it holds up to side pressure and that kind of thing now all right guys just to give you an idea of the size of the platform i can get you know two-thirds of my foot on there my heel doesn't doesn't hang on to the platform but other than that i can get most of my boot on there quite comfortable you know as far as the real estate goes for sitting so let me show you kind of how you can position on this platform. I'm gonna go counterclockwise first, and then I'll go clockwise. So if I wanna to shoot to, let's say eight o'clock, just slight movements, seven o'clock, six o'clock, straight behind the tree, easy enough. When I start to go to five o'clock, I'm definitely having my right foot on the angle, which I like because that's the more natural foot for this movement. So now I can shoot to you know, five o'clock, four o'clock, get my second boot on there, and there's really enough room that I can get most of my second boot on the angle, and I can very comfortably shoot to three right here, probably even two o'clock, just by using that one side. So let's say I go clockwise now. So right to here, I can shoot, you know, nine, 10, 11, there's 12. Now, if I wanna shoot to you know, one or two, this tree's on a big angle, so I really gotta use it, but you can see, I can get both boots on there once again, and I could come around and shoot probably to three o'clock out of that position very easily. So heck should give you an idea of the ability to position. Um, you know, if I put some weight into that, it's, it's just very solid. Any one stick that I've tried has some movement. None of them are rock solid, but this one, you know, is, is the best of the best, in my opinion. I mean, look, I'm putting my whole weight into that and it's hardly, I can't, I mean, it's just not budging. It's just fantastic. So really good positioning ability off this platform, guys. Some people ask me whether they, I thought I would miss the kind of the wing tip that you see on the UP and the Predator. I, I don't, I, I think the more natural way especially when you're going counterclockwise is off the inside foot and so that works really well i mean even over here i think the tip would be a little bit helpful but it's certainly doable the, the boot grabs the corner and kicks you around so in my opinion guys you can position very very well on the big bob so I'm, I'm very pleased with it in that department. Well, before I give my closing thoughts, there's two things I wanted to point out. First, I've seen questions about, is it floppy? You can see here in this video, I'm moving the stick around quite quickly and it does not flop around. It is very, very stable when you're walking in and when you're advancing it up the tree. I've not found that to be an issue at all. The second thing I wanted to point out is that, that since you can fold the top of the platform flat, you can put it very, very flat against your pack and it makes for packing it in and carrying it very, very easy. So that's a, an advantage that no other platform has. All right, guys, I'm gonna do a real quick climb. These are hard shots to get because they're so far away. So I'm probably only gonna to climb to about 14 feet. I'm gonna hang the stick up probably in the neighborhood of six, seven feet, something like that. Not gonna utilize the whole eight or any length. And then I'm gonna show you one move just to give you an idea of how it is to climb. Does the top of it flop around? Uh, how easy is it to manage due to the weight? Those kind of things. So let me go over here. I'm also gonna try to film it first person from my chest. And so uh, hopefully that helps you out and gives you an idea of, of what, uh, what the climb looks like. All right, I'm gonna climb this tree. And just for the sake of time, I've already got the rope up there and the aider and all that undone. So let's go for it. 
I'm gonna set it lower than I normally would just to show you a little bit more in frame kind of what the move looks like. Clip into my safeguard. So as you can see, there's no need to cam the platform during the climb. It functions just like your normal one stick would when climbing. So I hope that's helpful and give you an idea of how to climb with the Big Bob. I found it to be very, very stable while I'm climbing and uh, I have just no complaints at all about this stick while climbing. So let me give you a few concluding thoughts now. All right, so that's kind of the overview of the Out on a Limb Big Bob. I showed you guys all about its features, talked through some of the modifications I made. So what do I think of this stick at the end of the day? Is it really the best of both worlds? And how do I think it stacks up to some of the other one sticks on the market? Well, let me just make a few uh, closing comments here. This platform, in my opinion, is very, very solid, both when you're climbing and when you're positioning. That ability to cam it down adds an unparalleled amount of stability to this stick. So that is much better than some of the other one sticks that we've seen out on the market. The other thing I'll note is that the ability to angle it is really, really cool. You know, if if you're a guy who switches between sitting and leaning, that's a fantastic option. Uh, I personally don't like the standard EWO UP platform because number one, I don't lead. Number two, I think the angle is just a smidge too steep for what I I prefer. I like to be close and tight to the tree, and I just find the angle to be just slightly steeper than than I would uh, prefer. So this stick gives me the ability to run just a slight, you know. 10 degree angle downward if if I want to. And I really, really like it. And the adjustment can be done quick and easy. You, you gotta rappel down the tree a little bit, but at the end of the day, I don't think that's a, a deal breaker for me personally. I set up with the tree as a buffer between me and my anticipated deer movement. So I think if that's a movement that you do slowly and take your time um, and do it at strategic times during your hunt, you, you can probably get away with it. And so that's that's really, really nice. You know, I think a lot of guys will probably, uh, you know, climb up the tree in the morning and set it leaning. And uh, they'll, they might lean for the first couple hours of the day when they anticipate deer movement, but then, then as things slow down, they might flatten it out and sit. And uh, I think that might be a, be a great way to do it and give you some flexibility. So I I really do like that feature and and it works well. I have not found a downside to that in all of my testing. So uh, as I mentioned, I wasn't crazy about the 1 8 inch AM steel. It seemed like it locked up in the cleat pretty good and was just harder to remove than 3 16 It's also lighter and so I couldn't throw it around the tree as easily as the 3 16 So uh, that's, I, I wish they'd have gone with 316s. I'm not sure what the rationale there was. I mean, it, it works totally fine and it's very safe. Uh, I, I did test it a number of times before I switched it out, but I just, I do prefer the, the 316s. Um, the handle, 
I think it is not necessarily the greatest design in the world. So I, I mentioned this in portions of the video, but you can either run the handle in front of the amp steel or behind it. When I was running it in front of the amp steel, I would pull it up all the way and it would, it would pull up into the throat here and slip past the nut that holds this bolt on and it would kind of get caught between the two nuts and I couldn't push it down. Uh, but the downside is, I put it on the back and it retracts much easier. You can see that I didn't have any problems pushing it down at all, but uh, the amp steel can, can pinch it and make it very hard to, to pull up if you forget to pull it up in advance of climbing. So it, I, you know, it's not foolproof. I do like that it's a little bit more robust and stout and um, it's easy to grab. And, and I think the length is, is really well thought out. It's just the perfect length for me. So, um, not perfect, but but very usable, uh, all that to say. Um, the other thing that I've noticed on this stick is related to the aider bolts on the bottom. Every now and again, they just seem to be a smidge, a smidge loose on me. Um, you know, it's a half a thread or maybe one thread, nothing, no big, big deal. Um, but you definitely want to keep an eye on those, make sure that they're tighten down uh, all the way before you you know put your foot onto them but the ability to change out the aiders quickly is is super super awesome and i love that this stick has the ability to do that i know that some guys won't switch aiders in in and nowadays with the adjustability of something like the ultimator you probably don't have to switch aiders but uh, i play around with a lot of stuff so uh, it's nice to be able to kind of flip the aiders in and out so what do i think about this stick overall is it really the best of both worlds i think matt over there and out on a limb has accomplished something that that the market hasn't seen yet in a one stick this stick in my opinion has a good size platform it doesn't lack anything i don't even need a ring of steps to shoot uh, 360 degrees on trees probably up to 16 inches in diameter and so that's really really nice the positioning ability is just fantastic on this platform and i like the i like the adjustment feature i haven't found a lot of, of uh, negativity to it so in my opinion it really is the best of both worlds if you're kind of new to saddle hunting and you're not sure whether you're going to be a sitter or a leaner or you you split your time get this stick it really will give you the ability to do both of those things and i think to do them uh well so um Big, big fan of that. I, I've been running it at just a slight downward angle quite often and have very much appreciated that. So how do I think it stacks up to the other other one sticks? I, I'm gonna do a full blown uh, comparison here a little bit later in the summer between this and the flat UP and the Catalyst Ion, but uh, I think it's just as good as every other stick out there and, and it may be better. I just wanna put a, a lot more time and a lot more climbs with all of these sticks this summer testing them out and and really put some mileage on them before i land the plane on that but my initial opinions after a, a numerous climbs and many hours using it so far are that it's it's a contender it is is a fantastic stick and i'm very very pleased with it so uh, i don't think you guys will regret if you're in the market for a one stick picking up the big bob so anyway i hope this review is helpful if you guys have appreciated it please uh, comment like subscribe all that kind of stuff i appreciate your support and i hope you guys are out there getting ready for the upcoming hunting season